Bro, I heard that they fixed peak physique. All right, let's try it out. What is up, people? This is your brother on Democracy from the pre-sequel channel. And in this video, I wanted to show you a peak physique build that I have been using. And I have to tell you that it is insane. This has to be my favorite armor passive at the moment. If you don't know, Peak Physique is an armor passive that you get on armor that you can unlock from the latest Warbond, the Viper Commandos Warbond. And I don't think you can get this passive on any other armor apart from the ones that you get from the Viper Commandos. This armor passive actually gives you better handling and this is extremely good for weapons with really poor handling like the HMG, the Autocannon, the Eruptor, Primary, Jar, Dominator. Yeah, when this armor actually came out, this perk was actually bugged and it was not working as intended, but now it does. So for our primary, we will be going with the eruptor since this has poor handling so the peak physique will help it for our secondary we'll be going with the senator and for our grenade we'll be going with the stun grenade for the hulks for our stratagems we'll be going with the autocannon obviously i haven't seen this all over reddit that autocannon literally feels like a primary with the peak physique <laughs> uh armor passive so yeah uh we'll be going with the rocket sentry uh, because it is really good for crowd control can take down hulks can take down gunships and all the orbital laser for the factory striders still believe that is the best stratagem to take down factory striders and finally we'll be going with the eagle airstrike for some more crowd control finally you can go with any booster but i personally like to go with the experimental infusion to get some extra speed uh when i stim so this is pretty much the build if you think this video has helped you like the video subscribe to the channel and let's check out some gameplay all right so we are on an ice planet which means traversing is gonna be a pain in the butt whoa well the eruptor already feels smooth it feels way smoother damn okay okay of course i'm doing the quick swap technique if only i can hit the target can i hit it yes oh Wait, no, no way. No way. This actually feels like a primary, dude. What? There is no way. There's almost no drag at all. Are you serious? The autocannon feels so smooth now. Oh my god. And we have three hulks right off the bat. And they shouldn't be a problem. Bro, what? And they shouldn't be a problem. Dude, the aiming feels so good right now. What? Are you kidding me? This is probably one of the best armor passives they have added in a while. Damn. This has made such a huge difference. I wonder what the HMG feels like though. What? What? There is no way. What? There's absolutely like... There's almost no drag. Yeah, of course. Uh, this has a bit of drag, but... Damn. The HMG actually feels uh, kind of snappy now. Damn. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. Yo, using the autocannon is like feels so easy now. This is not even a joke. This is seriously the best armor passive they have added since the launch of the game. There's no joke. This almost makes the weapon feel like a completely different weapon. Yeah, aiming is so easy now. Sometimes I actually wonder that if Arrowhead can add stuff like this, then why don't they do it? What? Why are they so anti-fun? Like, what is wrong if people are having a bit of fun? What is wrong if some weapons start feeling good? I mean, like, none of the weapons in Helldivers at the moment are 
like OP. There is no such thing as an OP weapon in Hilarious 2. But it actually saddens me that they're not actually like forget OP. A lot of the weapons are not even good. They're not even worth using. So yeah, if they can, I mean Arrowhead, if you're listening, please, please add more fun stuff like this. And trust me, this can actually revive the game like once more. I mean, the game is still doing pretty good compared to other PvE games, but still, it, it, it is nowhere near what it's, it, it's, it used to be. I mean, like, if I remember during the initial months, it was like getting almost close to 400 to 500k players almost every single day, especially during the weekends. Yeah. Stuff like these actually make people enjoy games. And and it actually shows that the devs actually care. Yeah. Yeah, this 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 feels so good. This probably this is probably my favorite loadout now. It is, is there's no joke. I mean, for the automatons, for the terminates, I would still uh, recommend that you use the flamethrower over the auto cannon. Uh, but yeah, for the automatons, this is my favorite build so far. And after this, I'm gonna be putting the HMG build that I uh, that I put up uh, in my last video. The difference between this one and the HMG one is that the HMG one is like really tanky since you have the supply pack, so you also get like apart from ammo you also get stims and grenades and you can just you know you don't have to dep uh, depend on resupplies and stuff so that is a a bit more reliable build so yeah yeah uh, but i think both both are good both are good you can use either one all right oh we have a hulk here yeah look here sweetie Look here. Yeah, two shots and he is gone. Like, aiming at Hulks hasn't been easier. This, this just feels too easy. This actually feels good. It doesn't feel OP. Like, a lot of builds, when it comes to automatons, a lot of builds, they just feel really weak. But now this actually feels kind of good. Even the Eruptor feels good. Like... The ergonomics of the Raptor is absolutely abysmal. So, yeah, I'm enjoying using the Raptor for a change. Like, I don't have to get, like, sh seizures every time <laughs> I try aiming with the Eruptor. Can I hit it? I think if you just, like, if you just not aim, it would be easier to hit if I'm not wrong. Yeah, easy, easy. Yeah, so far I'm so loving the snappiness. I can actually aim exactly where I want now, damn. I actually never knew that handling would make such a huge difference. Because I actually never thought like that. Especially with the auto cannon, since we have the support weapon since the start of the game. And I think we had all accepted the support weapon like this only. Uh, <laughs> we never actually expected a change. I don't know what else to say. This feels like such a better weapon now. Who would have thought? Crazy. Oh, we have some berserkers here. By the way, uh, I'm I don't think I'm gonna show you the entire gameplay because this does not make any sense. Like demonstrating uh, just the armor passive. I mean, taking a whole video to demonstrate just an armor passive. I'm just I think just, I'm just gonna show like few portions. 
some portions of the gameplay and I'm sure whatever I will show it will actually help you understand the build. But yeah, I am officially saying this. This is like my favorite automaton build as of now. Until uh, like uh, Arrowhead launches some crazy support weapons and uh, we have to change it. Until then, yeah, auto cannon for the win. Auto cannon is the king. Oh, we have another stumpy boy coming our way. Yeah, stand still. Stand still, buddy. Yeah, you're done. You're done. Bye. See ya. Easy. Alright, so we're almost done with the mission. There was a long, there was a long, long mission. Damn. Oh, hello. Look here. Yeah. Yeah. So easy. So easy. Just a piece of cake. A piece of muffin. That's what you are. You stupid automatons. Alright, so we are done with the mission. Yeah, this was really easy. Even on Helldive, it was really easy. Let's just check if we got 100% completion or not. I think we did. Yep, we did. So yeah, that's what we want to see. So if you think this video has helped you, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and then I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.